Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the fourth and final episode in a mini-series of video tutorials on how to create an island landscape in Unity 5. So up until now we've played with the terrain to create our islands, put trees in, uh, water, whatever else. So it, it is pretty simple so far and to be honest we're going to keep it fairly simple. We're going to bring in a couple of objects, a couple more textures, um, build a, a couple of things and also build the actual game itself in this episode. So what you'll want to do first is down here, Assets, right click, Create, and let's go to Folder. And I'm just going to call this Objects. Let's go into that folder. And now what I want to do is import this entire folder named Treasure Chest, which you can get on our website for free. The link is in the description, as always. If you head over there, uh, you can download this for free. Uh, it will take just a couple of seconds to import. As you can see, it's slowly going along there, importing everything it needs to. And then if you go in, and you'll have a treasure chest right there. And all this really is, is a collection of objects which has been made in something like Blender or 3D Studio Max, and compiled together in something called a prefab. So if you drag and drop this into your scene, it imports the entire object into your scene as, as simple as that and if you click that there you can see all the different elements to this one particular object so you could put that there and maybe another one over there so you got two treasure chests and what you have to do now is if you go on chest go to add component go to physics and there are different colliders that you can choose from here. You can box collider, mesh collider, tons of different things. So let's go on mesh collider with this one. And let's do box collider on this second one. Physics box collider. Now they do look pretty big at the moment, so I'm going to play the game. And just going to wander over to one of them just to see how big they are yeah they are quite big the mesh glider doesn't quite seem to work on that or that one so what we need to do is we need to click on it I'm actually going to remove the mesh glider on that one make it a bit easier by just having uh, a box collider and let's make this size 2 by 2 by 2 and hopefully you should see this start popping out here, which is um, like a green line, sort of. So let's make this a little bigger. There we go. That looks about right now. So let's apply the same here. So the size on the X is 3. The size on the Y has 2. And the size on the Z or Z also has 2. So now we shouldn't be able to run through our chests. But let's change the scale of them because they do seem a bit big. Let's reduce them by half. So on the transform at the top, let's put 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. And let's bring this down to the floor. About there. And same with this one. Let's have this one even smaller. Let's have 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. And let's bring this down to the floor again. About there, I think. So let's press play again and have a quick look. Yeah, that looks much better. And obviously we can't walk through our treasure chests now. So that's how you bring in an object to uh, your game. Quite simple, really. Next, uh, go into your textures down here where you brought in the textures for your terrain. And let's bring in this metal and wood um, textures. Just drag and drop straight into Unity. Um, same with the chest, it's available for free on the website. It'll all come as the same package if you head over to the website. So let's uh, let's put some weird object sticking out the water, some big weird wooden object. So I'm going to drag the camera below the water surface to about there. And game object, 3D object, and cube. I'm going to make this cube quite tall, so I'm going to put 20 on that, so it's kind of stuck in the ground move it this way a touch and really really simple just drag and drop texture straight onto the object 
and you can see that it um, it kind of just applies one of them to the entire object. So let's try the metal on there. Again, it just applies the entire texture to that object. So to get around that, you'll notice that, um, you also have a materials folder suddenly create. Every time you apply a texture to an object, you can't do that. It has to uh, apply a material. So Unity creates its own material through its own um, intelligence, if you will. So let's right click in the materials folder, create, and let's go to material. And let's call this metal2. And what I'm going to do is tiling, I'm going to put as 10 and 10 in the X and Y. And then make sure you still select on your metal2 into textures, and drag and drop up here, albedo. And then simply drag and drop metal2 onto your object. If you zoom in, you can see, yeah, it's not fantastic, but it does the trick. So to get around that, let's go back on here and let's change the, uh, oops. Let's change the tiling. Um, let's keep it as 10 on the X, or should we change it? Um, no, let's have just one on the X and 10 on the Y. So now you can see it looks a little bit better. And it's kind of sticking out the water there. So I'm going to drag, oops, I'm going to drag it up slightly. I'm going to rotate it uh, on the Z or Z just by, let's say, 15 degrees. So now it's this very strange object just randomly sticking out the water. So that's how you can make an object quite simply with the actual um, 3D objects that you can make in Unity. So real simple, let's quickly do another game object, 3D object, cube. Uh, let's put this scale as 2x2x2. Two by two by two. And I'm just going to simply drag and drop this wood texture or material straight onto that object. Bring it down to, let's say, about there and I'm going to rotate it slightly on the X by five degrees. So now let's press play and have a quick look. So we have a big strange wooden box that right there and a big thing sticking out the water. And hopefully you should be able to see that it, you can see like a kind of a shadow and a, a bit of a reflection as well of that object, which kind of looks cool. So your guy is now stuck on a desert island. So there are tons of things you can do. If you have a look around, maybe through Google, uh, I recommend a site called TF3DN. Um, they do pretty good models, but you can also get stuff from the Asset Store. Now, to get to the Asset Store, uh, you can simply hold Control and press number 9, and it'll open the Asset Store. And you can have a search here for uh, tons of different things. For example, let's type in Desert, and it brings up tons of results, but most things in the Asset Store you do have to pay for. But if you search by price, you can find a couple of free uh, objects that you can download. I'm not going to download any right now, uh, but feel free to have a search around. And also you can Google for textures, for objects and whatever else, so you can build up your entire terrain of your islands to look pretty nice in the end. So when you get to the end of it all and you want to build it, you can go to File, Build Settings, make sure you have PC, Mac and Linux standalone selected. I don't really recommend the web player as it's not particularly supported by Unity anymore. Uh, if you're building for Android or iOS or whatever, you can have them selected, but you would need to switch platform on them. You notice if you select that, it says switch platform down here. If you have a big scene, it may take a little longer to switch. So I have PC, Mac and Linux standalone set. So I'm just going to click build and run and it'll ask me to save my file. So I'm going to call this one simply island 
And then what it'll do now is it'll spend a couple of seconds just compiling everything together in the scene, building it, uh, doing everything it needs to. It'll put together all its assets in a folder and then it'll create uh, an executable file which then becomes the game itself. You can send that uh, executable to whoever you want, you can distribute it on the internet and it essentially becomes the working version of your game outside of a Unity. And hopefully it won't take too much longer. I have found that when you do have a terrain like we do in this, it does take a little bit longer. A terrain is such a massive object and sometimes it can take longer than expected. Hopefully it won't take too long for this. It should give you a status here saying what it's doing right now. So in this case, it's still building assets for our scene. Chances are it's building the asset for the um, terrain. I think that's what's going to take the longest. because we don't particularly have too many assets in this scene at the moment. Okay guys, sorry about that, I had a bit of a freeze going on there. So when your game is built, you'll be presented with this window, which is basically just a quick little input for you to set your settings. Uh, so I'm gonna go, I don't know, 800 by 600, windowed. Uh, graphic quality, fantastic, select them onto display one, yep. Yeah. And click play. And it'll open with this. And you can go ahead and you can just play this as normal. This is now a standalone of your actual game. So uh, thank you very much for watching this mini series and I hope it's been uh, useful to you to some degree. Uh, just go ahead and play around in Unity. Check out some of my other series. I've got some great stuff going on. Uh, tons of series, tons of stuff to learn about. So thank you very much for watching.